One of the best ways to learn about science and scientists is to go to the library and get books to read. And I have some pictures here of um, some books about some very famous scientists. The first one is Albert Einstein, and he was one of our most brilliant scientists from the 20th century. That's Albert Einstein. And here's a book about a man named Galileo. He lived a long time ago in the 16th century. He was an astronomer, and he was one of the first people to figure out that the Earth circles around the sun. In those days, everybody thought that uh, everything revolved around the Earth. So that's a book about Galileo. And here is a book about a woman who's still alive. Her name is Mae Jemison. She was a space shuttle astronaut in 1992 as a medical doctor, and now she runs a company that makes medical devices. So that's Mae Jemison. And here I have a book about Jacques Cousteau. And he was an oceanographer. He studied life under the oceans. And he also invented the scuba diving equipment that divers use uh, to dive under the ocean. So that's Jacques Cousteau. And here I have a book about a woman named Jane Goodall. And Jane Goodall was a biologist. She studied monkeys and chimpanzees in Africa for many years. She learned a lot of interesting things about the way that the chimpanzees live. So that's Jane Goodall. And here I have a book about an inventor you maybe have heard of. His name is Alexander Graham Bell, and he invented the telephone. And there's a picture there of a very old telephone. That's Alexander Graham Bell. And this woman, uh, her name is Rachel Carson. She was a biologist, and uh, she figured out that when we put pesticides on our crops and then eat the food, the pesticides get in our bodies, and it's very bad for us. So she was one of the very first environmentalists. That's Rachel Carson. And here I have a book about Steve Jobs. You maybe have heard of him. He started the Apple Computer Company, uh, the company that invented the iPod and the iPhone, among other things. And uh, he was a great computer scientist, Steve Jobs. And finally, I have a book about Thomas Edison. He invented the light bulb, among other things. So that's a book about Thomas Edison.